Chosen ones, where you were, where you were, where you were, where you were. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video. Yes, chosen ones. Let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video. Yes, that is so beautiful, chosen people. Make it a point to keep on smiling because your smile is changing the world, is changing nations, and is changing people around you. I'm telling you, chosen ones. Yes, your smile is so contagious. Right, great. You read the title of this video. Your self-love tells them this. Yes, as chosen ones, we must take note of, of this. When you are obsessing over someone, to the point where you are all the time expecting their text messages or their calls and you cannot focus on things that you've been doing before you've met them or cross path with them. You can no longer focus on such things you've been doing, right? After meeting them, it's like you get distracted, you lose focus, you're so obsessed over them. I'm telling you, that is a reflection of you. That is not a reflection of them. It is not that they are a mean of doing something that is so huge, right? It might be they are doing something that is so huge. But all I want to tell you is that if you get distracted, and you can no longer focus after you've met these people in your life. The things you used to do, you're no more doing them. How you care for yourself, you're not caring for yourself anymore, right? And you are placing more value on them than on yourself, all right? That is a reflection of you. That is not, you know, that they are more special than you. You see, it means it is a reflection of you because you are no longer loving yourself. All right. So it has everything to do with the relationship that you have with yourself as a chosen one. Yes, it means you don't really love yourself to the core. I know in this life, right, we have to be people that others can be happy because of us but we shouldn't neglect ourselves yes you must also be happy with yourself you must show yourself much care you must i mean give yourself so much love all right before you can even make others that are around you happy you can't give what you do not have all right? So you need to care for yourself. You need to love yourself to the core. You need to love yourself so much. If you don't do this, right, and you're loving some other person that you've met or cross pathway more than yourself, in time, you will become unattractive. And this will be the reason why these people will leave you. Choose somebody else over you because you are no longer doing the things that you were doing that got them attracted to you. That is why in marriages, you will see a guy hitting the gym, working so hard on himself, you know, having the six pack looking, you know, energetic and strong and looking very masculine. But this guy will get married. And after getting married, this guy will stop hitting the gym, working on himself. So with time, this guy developed this pot belly, right? What I call one pack. Instead of six pack, this guy is now having one pack, right? So what happens? You are going to be unattractive to this woman that you get married to. And don't be surprised that this woman can start cheating on you because you're no longer, right, keeping the values. What you used to do, you're no longer doing them. Right, so they are going to leave you. People will not leave you as long as you keep on loving yourself, you keep on doing the things that you know you were doing, you were focusing on when they met you. If you keep staying true to certain things and you keep 
I mean, being consistent and you intensify what you're doing, that tells that indeed you really love yourself. And people are watching you. How you caring for yourself, how you loving yourself, people are watching you. So if you are treating yourself right, you eating well, you looking healthy, you exercising, you looking great, you working hard, making some sort of passive income and other things, you smelling good, you look good. People are watching you. And people, you know, believe that if they come on your team or are part of you, because you are able to take good care of yourself, you can be able to take good care of them as well. That's it. So taking good care of yourself, loving yourself, showing yourself some self-love makes you so attractive. The moment you stop doing this, I'm telling you, it has everything to do with you. That is a reflection of you. That is the sort of relationship you have with yourself. It means you don't have self-love. You don't really value yourself. And people are going to move out of your life. I'm telling you, chosen people. So, as chosen people, we must love ourselves to the extent that, right, whether people come in our life or they are living our life, we are still going to be okay with our life. It's not going to affect us. It's not going to disturb us. It's not going to, I mean, worry us. And when you have this mindset of loving yourself, all right, and caring for yourself, I tell you, always you will have this loved one that always want to be with you because you are attractive and not only just attractive to him or her alone, but you are going to be attractive to so many people. So this person will be like, hey, if I mess up, there are different people. There are other people that this guy, this lady looks so much attractive to that, you know, um, they're going to get along with him or along with her. Right. So that will make your partner, the person who is coming to join you, all right, on their toes so that they also, uh, I mean, live up to expectation. That's it, chosen people. We must love ourselves to the extent that we become our true and authentic self, a better version of ourselves. Because you becoming a better version of yourself all depends on you and it depends on the love that you give to yourself. I'm telling you, that is what makes you so attractive. You don't need a confirmation from anybody, from even your parents, before you love yourself or before you care for yourself or before you take very good care of yourself. You have to take good care of yourself. You have to self-love yourself before others can love you. Remember, in this world, you are not going to get what you want. But you get who you are. What you are is what you get. Which means you have to work on yourself. You have to put in the work. All right? And draw what you want to you as a chosen one. That's it. And when you show yourself this self-love, it comes with benefit. And one of the huge benefits is that, you know, um, because... You've been through a lot and in whatever situation you love yourself anyway. I'm telling you, when um, you cross paths with someone or you meet someone who, a person who has been through hardship, who has been through the valleys of shadows of death, have been through so much in life. When you cross paths with this person, right, then because you've been there, and you came out of it and you still love yourself when you see this person too you will be able to appreciate this person yes a person who has been through hell and is back who has fixed himself or herself all right and this person aside all he or she has been through this person still has a big heart to love i'm telling you when you join hand with this person or you become a partner to this person. This person is going to teach you the true meaning of love. Yes, the true meaning of love, how to love, will teach you how to love, will teach you, you know, the love of this life. And 
you will only see the beautiful soul and the big heart this person possess as a result of you also sitting down and doing your homework by loving yourself. If you don't really love yourself, you can't love this person who God will bring your way as well. And you will push them away with your attitude and with your character. Because these people that have been through the valleys of shadows of death have been through hell, broken, went through the hardship and they bounce back and they still have a big heart to love. They are very real. They are very real in this life. And when you lose them, you are not going to get someone quite like them. I'm telling you. That is why. You must first love yourself so that when these people cross, cross path with these people or these people cross path with you and they come into your life, you will be able to see who they are and you will appreciate them, you will honor them, you will stand by them, you will be with them and you will see them as a gift of God to you. I'm telling you. And that is what is going to change your life entirely. Yes, because two people that have been through it and Regardless of whatever situation they've been through, they still choose to have big hearts to love. Ha, what, what a powerful love is going to be. Yes, it's going to be great and great and great and there is nothing that two of you cannot achieve together. I'm telling you, chosen people. Yes, you must come to the point of loving yourself dearly, loving yourself so much and not giving up on yourself yes that's it show yourself some self-love in fact many people will be like i love myself but they don't really love yourself themselves you must love the person that when you look in the mirror you see you must love that, that person and that person is you and you must make yourself a promise to let go of your past failures, your past mistakes, all right? And let go of things that are not serving you. If you love yourself, you will let go of, of all such things. And you will now begin to appreciate the things, the good things that God has in store for you, that God have, has in front of you. I'm telling you, that's it. That is how you appreciate what you have. Yes, and love yourself for real for real self-love is what is going to make you win in this life you are born alone and you are going to die alone you are going to stay with yourself for the rest of your life i'm telling you yes you may find people that will cross path with you or you gonna cross path with that you are going to become partners in whatever but i tell you anything can happen they can have accident and die and leave you your mom can die and leave you at any point in time. Your father can die and leave you at any point in time. The person you are hoping on, all right, can die at any point in time. That is why you must take, you must make it a point to really, really work on yourself so that the departure of these people will not affect your life. There are many people that when people are living their life, they, they cry their, 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 their heart out. Yes, there are people that when someone close to them, either their mom or their dad or whatever, dies, they will grieve for the rest of their life. Why? It is because they don't self-love themselves. They don't know how to take care of themselves. When you love yourself and you know how to take care of yourself, you will know how to take good care of your health. You will make passive incomes and out of that passive incomes and other things that you are making, you will see that with or without them, you will be able to take good care of yourself. You will be able to succeed in this life. I'm telling you, many people that cry when they lose somebody, sometimes it's as a result of they not really loving themselves and taking charge over their life. You are the master of your destiny. I'm telling you, nobody is coming to save you. Only you have that power to save yourself. And it starts with self-love. You must start to love yourself now and make 
the effort to really, really be there for yourself. You must love yourself to the extent that when people leave you, you are going to be okay. Remember to remember, the only love that will sustain you for the rest of your life is the love you give to yourself. It is not the love of some man or the love of some woman, but the love, the genuine love you really have for yourself. Because at the end of the day, right, people are going to leave you. Yes, nobody, all right, owns you a lifelong relationship that they can't leave you. That is what you, that the mindset you should have. People can leave you at any point in time. Whatever you're not born with can leave you at any point in time. Remember that. All right? Remember that. And that mindset alone is really, really going to help you. And remember again that nobody owes you anything. And you do not owe anybody anything. It is all on you. That is why you must love yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.